Hello, my name is Pat Moran. I'm with Axio Systems and I'm a business solutions consultant. And our demo today will be Remote Working Self-Service Portal, a modern consumer style IT experience. We take a look at our agenda. We're gonna go through and talk about the reduce, how to reduce costs and improve IT customer satisfaction. And we could do that by self-logging and resolution. Knowledge base, accessing a service catalog and having open collaborations with your user base. We'll follow that up with a self-service portal demo and do a Q&A session after. Also, if you do have questions, please use the Q&A portal within the GoToMeeting and we'll get to them at the end of this demo. And if you'd also like a copy of this presentation, please email im at axiosystems.com or reach out to myself directly. So in this digital age, employees expect to use the same kinds of digital tools in the workplace as they use in their consumer lives. And this pandemic has really magnified the new remote worker. And with more employees working from home, our Assist Self-Service Portal provides a one-stop shop for employee technology needs. And it all starts with a unified self-service portal. You know, help users help themselves. So how do we do this and reduce costs and improve IT customer satisfaction? We can do this by self-logging and resolution. And employees bypass the service desk these days because there's bottlenecks and they want the ability to log their own issues and potentially find easy and simple solutions. So intuitive issue logging, you know, check up on status of tickets, maybe search the knowledge base and collaborate with other users. We want to empower them to find information, you know, seek help and fix issues faster without having to call the service desk. Another way to do this is through the knowledge base. And knowledge is a critical enabler for self-service. And our portal includes a searchable knowledge base and knowledge management system, which you'll see in the demo. And our service catalog, you know, it's an award-winning storefront for IT. And it gives you that consumer style web and mobile portal guide for your end users. And it's gonna help them guide them through an intuitive ordering and tracking process. And process automation enables instant delivery of digital services. Open collaboration. So it's an integrated collaboration platform, which will enable users to reach out to colleagues for help wherever they are and to uncover otherwise hidden organizational knowledge. So those are just some great examples on how you can reduce cost and improve overall IT customer satisfaction. So let's get ready and go into our demo. And what I'm gonna do is provide you with an overview of our self-service portal. Go into our demo environment. And here is our Assist self-service portal. And today I'm logged in as Brenda Bennett and her role is a manager. So let's take a look at how Brenda has set up her homepage based on that manager role and what she wants to access on a daily basis. So you see right off the bat, we've got some shortcuts. So one-click access, so no searching needed. It's right here on Brenda's homepage. So if she wanted to take a look at her issues and requests that are open, she could simply select. Or maybe FAQs, or maybe report an IT issue. We also have our message center that has service disruptions. So this is providing important information to your users on current and planned outages. So we wanna ensure that your employee is aware of these outages, and that's gonna help reduce those calls to the service desk, saying that they can't access certain things. And we wanna give them a heads up on future outages as well. Now on the right-hand side, we do have a remote worker quick start guides. So we've seen a substantial increase of our self-service portal usage from our customers due to this pandemic. And here are some examples here. We've got a COVID-19 corporate statement, you know, maybe MS Teams, accessing files, uh, bring your own device policy. So easy access to important documents and guides to inform your users. We also have live chat as well as chatbot. You know, we can have the ability to chat with an agent or use chatbot to locate, you know, services, offerings, potentially log issues and requests, maybe escalate a ticket or find knowledge. And you could free up to about 30% of your support capacity with an intelligent service desk chatbot. So keep that in mind. Now, when I go over and I wanna expand our menu on the left-hand side, I'm gonna dig into FAQs and knowledge. So I talked about this in our slide deck where knowledge is a critical enabler for self-service. And we really wanna empower those users to resolve their own issues. 
and we could use we can do this through publishing top FAQs. And we have some examples here. We've got Outlook, maybe HR, but let's go into our top five FAQs. And this is a list of the most helpful articles based on user feedback. And let me go into how to set up your printer. And you can see it's going to provide that user with that intuitive step-by-step -step on how to set up the printer. And as I scroll down, you'll see we've got certain steps with images. Um, you can also embed videos to make it much easier. And as I scroll down to the bottom, you're going to notice we have our ratings and feedbacks. And this is going to provide some important information. And as you can see down here, Brenda's got this is an awesome KB, but she also has one here that this was great, but maybe we can add something around Wi-Fi connection so that we can go in here and update this knowledge article to include that. If I scroll back up, you'll notice that there are the reviews. And we also have some usage stats. So when was it viewed? When was it used the last time? And also we have these two buttons up here. So this answered my question. So what, by selecting that, it gives us the ability to log a ticket and automatically close it, stating that we use this knowledge article to resolve. Now on the other end of that, if it didn't resolve the issue, you can also have this set up where it will log a ticket and assign it to the service desk or support team to follow up with Brenda. Over on the right-hand side, we do have some related questions. This can easily be added. So based on how to set up your printer, maybe Brenda wants to know how to print an Outlook. So we can add those related questions. And we go over to our left-hand menu to discussions. We talked about that open collaboration. Here's just some examples. So if I wanted to go into Brenda's discussions, you'll see that there is one here, help with an Excel formula. So Brenda created this uh, conversation with her peers and looking for help with a, an Excel formula. And you'll notice here that we do have some replies from the user base. And in the end, Brenda was able to fix her issue and she had stated that this would be a great knowledge article. And up top, you can see there that that has been nominated for knowledge. So gather that information, create some FAQs and knowledge so that the users can access it. Now, if we go over to track progress, this is where you can access your approvals or maybe a history of your tickets, um, my open issues and requests, also service disruptions. So I don't really need to call the service desk to potentially escalate a ticket or check on progress. I can simply just go into the track progress menu, take a look at my open issues and requests, and here you're gonna see all the details of my open issues. And we also have the ability to take action when that is set up. Up next is surveys. So this is where we can push these surveys directly to the users within the self-service portal. They can quickly access get those quickly submitted so that you can gather that important data and feedback from your users. And then finally, reports. So subscriptions to important reports. And Brenda being a manager, she has a few that she has access to here. So no more waiting for a report via email or depending on other user to run the report and send that out. So very quick access to get into the reporting capabilities right from the self-service portal. So that's a quick overview of the Assist Self-Service Portal. And as you can see, it really does provide a modern consumer style IT experience. So I'd like to go back into our presentation and do our wrap up. So when your service desk is facing many thousands of incidents and service requests, Presenting home workers with a self-service web portal is really essential, and it's going to allow them uh, to get the services and assistance that they need to be productive. And some of these benefits are, you know, 24-7 support availability. They can log in anytime. You know, no time wasted waiting in call queues, especially when the service desk is dealing with a much larger volume of calls. Information requests are handled digitally, you know, taking the strain off your service desk staff. There's a better employee experience, you know, with a choice of self-logging and self-resolution options. And also faster service provisioning. So integration between a service catalog and service orchestration really enables instant delivery of digital services with zero human intervention from the service desk. And finally, significant reduction in the handling cost of issues and service requests. 
And it really is about empowering your customers to self-solve, and you can accomplish this uh, with that unified self-service portal to help users help themselves and reduce costs and improve IT customer satisfaction. And that brings us to our Q&A. So if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us directly. And uh, that ends our demo. So please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.